This is that Indie Reviewer coming at you with a cold. So, sorry if my voice isn't quite up to scratch today, guys. Uh, feeling a bit under the weather, but I'm trying to get these out as fast as possible and hopefully keep the train going. So, let's try out episode 6 and hopefully we can pick up the momentum again with this series and try and get back re-immersed into it after a long hiatus. And I am wanting if this... Jasker! Yes! Oh, well, he's my favorite character. What can I say? Do you mind the dad? Perhaps you did not hear the man. Yeah, perhaps you didn't. Sorry, who are you? Move along, old man. Who was the bard asked? Ooh, who are they? All my weapons. What weapons? There are the weapons. I see no steel here. <laughs> oh! 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 Wow! Steel won't be necessary. Oh! He just got back. No, now I was going to get paid, guys. I want you to join my team. Hmm. Dragon Hunters. Now, if this is the, this is the adventures I was waiting for. I can hear it now. A tale of two Zeracanians and their valiant poet lover. Oh. Don't overreach, don't overreach, don't overreach. We're in. You've wasted your breath, Borch. I don't oh. dragons. Take my advice. No treasure is worth dying for. So, look at him. so this is the proper on the treasure. Powerful dragons. I need Magical dragons. Is a new adventure. What's the fourth team? There she is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no 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 oh no 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 thank you so much it's been very nice thank you for the wine and the pies but as the man said we're really huh. Geralt shout oh. <laughs> it's like god damn it time for me to pet and it <laughs> <laughs> loving these guys already like, he's like a poor Scotsman to assist him oh he's dead oh he's so dead glory <laughs> Such a thing, I think this is what the whole thing is trying to uh, undermine. So, a uh, treacherous trek up a mountain to find a dragon marred by monsters at every path. It comes like an RPG adventure. <laughs> exactly as so your grandmother wished. Bring him out. Because at the rate they're going, Siri hasn't doesn't cake ever herself at all. It's going to be that guy who's going to help him out, help her out. You're in love with her. Oh, the danger here isn't the dragon. That's why I brought you along, Geralt of Rivia. Nothing scares you. I bet the dragon's going to be sentient. It's, that's going to be aware and intelligent and wise, the and his spirit at the end. I don't get it. Why the retaliation? When your species is on the verge of collapse, perhaps of extinction, more desperate. Back away! There's something back here. It sort of looks like a fawn. Yes, gear. Hello. Hello, little fellow. Oh, aren't you just the cutest? Most. Yeah. Run away, run away, Geralt! He's empathizing with Fury. It is prey. After, perhaps you should. He's in a town. Just past this thicket of trees. You need to work on your acting skills, dear Doppler. You must find him. To safety. Oh, at least someone has brains. What is that word? Yes, they've worn off, which means. Moving his bowels. There's nothing sacred anymore. Ah. 
sound strategy. Surprised you don't see. That's something you don't see often in fantasy. Watch each other's backs until we reach next peak. Then every man for himself. Let's see. All right. Let's go. I want to trust you. I want to trust him. Go on. I'll catch up. Yep, and I want to trust you, man. <laughs> He's so love struck. A child. What could you possibly want with a child? They took my choice. I want it back. <clears throat> I expect you to understand. I didn't choose to become a witcher. Not sure how I feel about this. Listen. Why is he going to so much trouble? I'm special. I don't know how or why, but there's something inside me. Oh! Tell him. What? Then I'll do it. Wait, no, 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 no! Damn it! One time the actually the protagonist actually says, kill him, rather than say, no, we must leave him alive. No. Points of Siri for actually doing that, but points off for losing a knife. She's not expecting Saruman to be to be chanting on top of his tower miles away. Chanting or his symbols wouldn't have worked. Look, why don't we leave tomorrow? That is, if you give me another chance. Excellent. Girls, choose a bank and Oh, simple. Bigger on the inside tent. Bad. Wait a minute. Jessica's outside, it's freezing his arse off. Poor man. Oh, don't tell me you woke up before we had left. Oh, good man. Oh, she's got a conscious crisis. A dragon's a mother. Golden Dragon. He was a Golden Dragon. Sir Witcher and his sorceress. Hello again. Should have seen that coming. Impossible. When the Dragoness was injured, her cry was heard by villain Threatenworth. But the so egg that's why could not be moved. He's the most beautiful. Or the life inside it would die. Not mine. <laughs> awesome. Got the dwarves in here. For use more of your magic. Although that's pretty impressive. Oh, ho, 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 that's a good one. Let, let's flurry more strike. <laughs> Ooh. Nice save. Good thing she stepped in. I was ready to throw hands. Oh, for God's sake, Jasko. Oh, God. What the fuck are you doing here? I'll be honest, I didn't really connect with that guy, so I can't really say I'm gonna miss him. Yennefer of Vengerberg. 
I can see why I <laughs> didn't want to lose you. What does that mean? Dude. It's like, dude, bro code. What the hell? In Rind. Need to work on that emotion there. And you know it. <laughs> Series out there, man. Jessica, not now! If life could give me one blessing, it would be to take you off my hands. Aww. See you around, girl. Shit happens because you don't have them there with you. Because you don't let them. All right, I think we're back on track now. The cat dragon there was actually pretty cool. I liked uh, my prediction was kind of tr on point, but also slightly off because I didn't predict it was a hum dragon who could transform into a human who can transform back into a dragon and could talk. But, you know, I like the fact that they were, did go the route of it's a wise dragon and it's sentient and it's aware that it's what it is. It's not, ju it's not just an animal. Um, so that, so I think I'm getting I think I'm getting the hang of this, the whole twi twist on the classic uh, notions of notions of fantasy genre tropes. I, I, I knew from a start that the night guy was going down. He that he was going down hard. And you don't often see, and you don't often see, uh, you don't see um, guys getting stabbed on the t on the bog, do you? It's it kind of reminds me of that uh, college humor sketch um, of uh, Hunger Games unabridged, where they actually decide to include all the scenes where they have to go to the toilet. It's like Hunger Games unabridged. See the moments you missed out in the actual series of events, including. Ketan is going to a toilet. The enemy is going to a toilet. Peter shitting his pants. And it's like, yeah, yeah, you don't really see that. And you're like, now you see why. You, you get shivved when you're going to a toilet. Enough toilet humor. Enough talking about using that. Um, but yeah, I, I knew from the start, it's like, this, is, this isn't the age of knights anymore. This is the age of mercenaries, of adventurers of bounty hunters essentially so it's a it's an unfair world an unforgiving land and an unforgiving time you can't you can't really navigate unless you're willing to bend the rules slightly and yeah it was pretty cool to see uh, the, to see that uh, got an actor from hot fuzz in it, it he was fun fun <laughs> he was the uh, George Merchant the guy who owns the big house you probably don't even know what I'm talking about. Um, and uh, then there's also, let's see, uh, Yapen, I like that he survived at the end. I thought, like, hey, that's cool. Here. Wish they could have given the other guys, his, the rest of his party, something to actually say. You know, he's just felt, they felt like it was just like, well, I'm just going to put this guy in, not going to give him much to do. I don't kind of remember seeing him kick any ass. That would have been amazing if he showed up with Yennefer and, and Geralt. And like this is the dragon. We we have to defend it. We have to defend it now. We'll give you some. Re re we'll give you some compensation. Like, fuck it, fine. We can't. We can't defeat you, but we're going to kick their asses. And it's just all them teaming up against them. Um, instead, they were just sort of just sidelined there for a bit. I mean, Jaskier, I can understand. He was just useless. Yes. Although he, I, I feel bad for him. I feel bad. He he didn't need and deserve to be yelled at at the end. Which kind of gets to the core of what I think this e this episode was about. This was Geralt trying to try to become a bit more human. In a way, I think he's becoming, beginning to recognize he's lacking a lot of f more human tendencies. Even though he was sterilized, transformed, mutated, and magicked into this new form of Witcher, uh, you can't really stop those ill human moments i mean you got we got hints of that when he met when he met yennefer like he felt uncomfortable he was 
actually feeling an affection for her, and he and he was trying, and he was while at the same time he's also showing a bit of affection for for Yaskir. So here it's a more of a case of he finally he's finally thinking like oh, I hate I hate the fact that I'm feeling these emotions. It's <laughs> and you get and you get all these sort of blow ups like. It's, it's those moments where you're like, well, like, dude, why did you have to blow up like that? You, there were so many easier ways you could have done this. So many ways you could have just gone around saying anything, literally. Now, on one end, I was, I was, I was almost agreeing with him when he came to Yennefer, which sounds like a bit of a red flag because Yennefer is talking about, you know, I want to be a mother and I want to have my choice back, which is a bit confusing. Because I thought we we covered that in episode two or three when we discussed. I mean, yes, we got elements of she maybe may want to have a child again. She wanted to go back to having that that choice. But I thought that was like that was sort of like the the uh, the punishment. Not to say punishment. I say the the, the trials she has to go through. Uh, this notion of yeah, you got you wanted a child. You can have a child, or you can have unlimited power. But both will carry different connotations for how you live your life. I mean, people will be gunning for her for years. People will be trying to kill her child, getting through her through the child. You know, she have to she have to really divide her focus. It's like I'm coming off as extremely ignorant. But in this in this scenario, it does it does come off as. As, yeah, that seems a bit irresponsible. You want to really settle down and, you know, raise a child safely in an environment where they can fully flourish, rather than in one where they're potentially going to die every moment. But, you know, I do, I do respect the fact that she does want that choice. And in a way, it is kind of reflective of her character, I want everything. And we know, we as a as fan, well, by fans, I'm not much of a fan, I'll watch right now if I get to the end of the series and say, uh, it's, yeah, it's okay. Like, yeah, yeah, it's okay. I, if we get to that point, I'd be like, I'd be like, yeah, okay, I'm a fan. But you get the notion that she is the one who wants everything, and we know how she at the end, if her and if her and Geralt get back together, they're gonna be they're gonna be sharing Siri. They're gonna be raising her. And I was like, you know, that's their own little dysfunctional, bizarre family that they get together. And so, you know, that's, that'd be fun. And it does seem like the case where we're discovering we're a bit more of Geralt's, not only his humanity, but also what does he want? I think, that, I, think that was, I think that's what people can find lacking in his character, is the fact that he doesn't know what he wants. He just lives day by day and just doing what he does, but he doesn't know what he wants beyond being a monster hunter and some sort of magic user. And that's what this, what finding Siri will be. That's what getting with Yennefer would be. That's what uh, forming this little community of friends and followers and companions will get you. Will give you a sense of purpose. And I, I like that uh, there was a bit of a parallel bit with, uh, what's his name? Jack Dawes Borch Tree? I, th I, th I must be mispronouncing that. But he seems to be the, um, what, what, I almost think he, that's what he, yeah, the Witcher could have been. What Geralt could have been. This guy had all unlimited power and all this great prophecy around him and all these great expectations. But yet he still finds, you know, ways to live his life. You know, he wants to live by his own standards, by his own rules. You know, one last for, one final last first for him. And you know, then you get these little moments where he's like, actually has good friends, good friends with these Amazonian warriors. I'm sure one of you guys will be down in the comments will be saying like, hey, she, they're neat for the. Seelies from the uh, from the island nations of somewhere. Sure. I I don't read the books. I don't read the books. I should be. But I should be doing more of it. But I have so many other books to read. It seems to be a little bit of a bit nuanced. I think there is nuance there, 
I think there are certain elements you can find. So I don't think it's it's necessarily a. It's, it's I don't think it's necessarily ignorant of what's of what's what the characters are about. It's more inconsistent about what it wants to say. But while, while I'm on the subject, let's also discuss a bit about um, Nilfgaard. So, yeah, Nilfgaard, I, th I think we're finding from here, is sort of religious zealots. Uh, like, yeah, I, I didn't, I could actually kind of pick that up from when the, when the like, courtier come, came to Centra's court. And here it seems, yeah, it seems to be the case of there are all a bunch of religious zealots who worship some sort of ancient deity or some sort of dark lord coming. And uh, series the, the key to unlocking that un unlimited power. That Doppler did a terrible job. I mean, he he just gave the game away right off. He, he had no he had no way of convincing her, and no and that guy was like me, just like this guy's nuts. I don't even know him, and I know he's he's off. And you know, good good on and them to be like like we like we we need we need to keep him alive. No, we don't. We need to kill him. Like, yeah. Finally, you know, you you don't just say like you know, don't don't hurt him. Hey, all creatures are like that. No, he was going to go and betray me, kill him, kill the bastard. But getting back to Yennefer, I'm all over on this in this analysis, but I do feel like a there is a bit of inconsistency with her writing. I th I like the fact that you know you could live without needing to give, give a child have birth give birth to a child. I mean, you can find a family and unity and community in other places, but you don't necessarily need to conform to uh, certain values. You know, you don't need to give birth to a child to be complete. You don't need to be married to be complete. And you don't need to be in a relationship to be complete. Here, it could have been a case of, you know, you, you're the most, one of the most powerful and fierce sorceresses in the world. You don't really need a child. I mean, you could. I mean, she wants it, and it's, and it's it is kind of consistent with her character in she wants everything, but it's also inconsistent with her uh, how she was established as this person willing to give thing give things up and pay the price. So, yeah, I like. I would have preferred if we stay, stayed on the route of. On the root of, yeah, I'm I'm comfortable with how my life has gone. I don't mind that I gave up the, the possibility of having children. I enjoy the fact that I can be this powerful, influential, influential person. Then again, if he, if she does actually build, if she does actually build to that moment where she can have a child, and you know, and actually be the powerful sorceress. Like it does send a good message, like you know, say like you know, single mothers or or working mothers can be working too. So I think I think there is a good good sort of idea there. But it's yet yet more to be explored, and I've only, I've only what two episodes left. So here's hoping that it concludes on a satisfying note. Well, that's all there is to it. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe down below and leave a like or a comment. And if you'd like to click on any of the links, uh, links around here uh, to see my last week's video or any other reactions I may have put up, hopefully see you in the next episode. So, this is That Indie Reviewer, signing off. Auf Wiedersehen.